when I got that relic, um, like I said, I was terrified to go to sleep. I was just in an immense amount of pain, and I was praying because all my children had was me. And when I placed that relic just below my heart there, I started to relax comfortably, fell asleep, and I saw um, what looked like I was laying on a hospital stretcher being rushed up this aisle. There was bright lights. Um, I saw Father Salavas Casey standing here on my left, and he was massaging my heart, and then like, I'm not quite sure what this was underneath there. I don't know if it was intestines. What I'm, I'm not a medical doctor. I can't describe that. But as he was massaging this, I saw Christ coming towards me, which startled me because I thought, okay, I just died. <laughs> but it shocked me enough to wake up, and I realized that this wasn't a dream. It wasn't anything that you could ever explain. And I never had repercussions with that heart palpitation or, or anything to this day. And it was funny because I, I immediately wrote the shrine and, and just told them they had no idea, you know, the power of, of Father Casey. Um, and it's funny because I read his books, I soak them up because I want to know more. And actually, one of his mother was a Moran, who was actually one of my ancestors. His mother's sister is one of my relatives. And I've always had a strong devotion to the Holy Souls as well. So, Father Casey, he, Slavonis Casey, brings us all around. And it, it's just incredible what, what simple people can do for the love of God. So, I'm very grateful.